Christmas Being with you is like never ending sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now When you're looking like that Hi, it's Katie with Hill Country Hands Thank you for joining me on my channel today Today's video is going to be our HEB grocery haul And our weekly meal plan if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I do motherhood and lifestyle videos every week. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. It's free and it helps my channel so much. So let's jump into today's video. So this is this week's meal plan. Today is Monday. We're going to go to my parents' house. It's Labor Day. They're going to grill over there. Tuesday, we are going to do salmon and asparagus and rice. I just got one of those meal simple asparagus things that we always get that you just pop in the oven and our whole family likes that. Wednesday I'm going to do a sheet pan meal with chicken strips and veggies. Fries. 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 Mackenzie's requesting fries. It's one of Julia Pacheco's recipes. I think I'm saying her name right maybe finally. So it's chicken strips and then you put butter, melted butter with ranch seasoning is kind of like a marinade. It's really good. And then I'm going to put Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, carrots, and maybe broccoli on there too. It's really yummy. Thursday, I'm going to try a new Julia recipe. It is chicken flautas, and I'm going to make some beans. Friday, we're going to do steak night. Justin grills us ribeyes. And... Well, usually we split a ribeye. We got a second one because Hunter is loving steak lately. Uh, so steak and twice baked potatoes. Saturday I'm going to do bacon wrapped stuffed chicken breasts in the oven and then whatever vegetables we have left over. Sunday we're going to do leftovers and then for lunches I got some salad stuff and some stuff to make some more of that non pizza. So that is this week's meal plan. So here is the groceries for this week. It is a pretty good sized haul for us. Uh, I think it was a little over $200 which is crazy. Groceries are so expensive. So I'm going to start with the frozen stuff so I can go put it up. I got some apple turnovers. I love these. I just pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes and then I flip it and cook it for about 5 more minutes. It's a really yummy breakfast. Not healthy obviously but so yummy, so easy. The kids have been really liking Eggo waffles. We did try the HEB ones and they weren't bad, but I think there's only like a 50 cents difference and these just, they they do taste better. So I was like, you know, it's not that much of a difference. So we'll just get the name brand for that. And then Justin wanted some more ice cream. He's been eating just the chocolate HEB creamy, I think it's like creamy creations or something like that but they didn't have that so I got the vanilla chocolate 
uh, bluebell ones. And then the kids eat frozen peas. I just pop them in the microwave with some water um, for like 30 seconds and cook them. And that's basically you just heat them up, I guess, because they're already cooked. And that is a good side dish for them that they enjoy. Okay, and then for meats, I don't have it as pretty as usual. It's kind of in a rush. Uh, I got two of the chicken tenders, pretty much most of the chicken, unless I'm doing like a chicken breast. Most recipes, I use tenders. I know that they're not the most cost effective, but I just really like them and I think they're easy to cut and use, so. And then I got us two, wow, that one looks nice and big. I got us two ribeyes because Hunter has been eating probably like a fourth of a steak on his own. He loves steak. So usually Justin and I just split one, but with Hunter wanting like more, there's really not enough. So what I'm going to do is cook. So I'm going to freeze half of one of these. So I'm going to cut one in half and we'll cook one and a half. Um, honestly, we'd probably be able to eat two, but I'm just trying to like make it last a little longer. So next week I'll get one, I'll get two as well. And then we'll have the extra half. And so we'll have more meals out of it. Um, we all love steak. We could eat two steaks easily, but I'm just trying to save us a little bit of money because that is a little bit more of an expensive dinner that we don't have leftovers from, but we all really do enjoy it. And then this is the garlic butter salmon that I like. So easy, you just take the saran wrap off. I season it. I've been using that, uh, I think it's Kinder's seasoning, and uh, sometimes I'll squirt some lemon or lime juice on it. Pop it in the oven for 20-ish minutes, so 16 to 18. Just cook it, so it's really easy. Our whole family likes salmon, so the kids will eat some of that as well. So that's for me and Justin. And then, I guess this is considered meat too. I got some hot dogs because we are going to my parents' house here in a few minutes. We're gonna go to the lake, and then we're gonna go to their house afterwards and grill. And the kids have been asking for hot dogs. My mom was gonna make hamburgers, so I'm gonna bring some hot dogs. I didn't bring like buns or anything, so it's mainly just for the kids. And then dairy type stuff. This is my favorite queso. We go through this so fast. It's so good. So if you haven't tried the H-E-B queso, make sure you get the right one though. My mom got a different one and it was not very good at all. So they have a couple different ones. But this is the one I really like. I got some cream cheese for a couple of recipes. I think the chicken flautas needs this. And if I do like my stuffed chicken. So I stuff it with cream cheese, jalapeno, usually like some onion. And just stuff that mixture into the chicken breast. And then wrap it in bacon and bake it. Then I got some mild cheddar. We do like freshly grated cheese for some stuff and then Justin's been doing a lot of cheese and crackers as a snack like just cut up sliced then I got Monterey Jack cheese for the flautas the new recipe I'm gonna try I got mozzarella I've been really liking this one it's a little bit more expensive than the HEB one but it really seems to make a difference this is for the non pizzas for lunch this is the Mexican cheese that we always get for nachos, mac and cheese, that kind of stuff. And then two things of creamer. They finally had the big one. They, I've been having to get like four, three or four of the small ones. The two big ones should last a while. I got one thing of the milk that we like. We don't go through a ton of milk, but we do use milk for mac and cheese. Hunter will have a bottle every once in a while. And Mackenzie's been enjoying cereal lately with just a tiny bit of milk, so. Got one of those to have. We love this one. It's extra pasteurized, so it'll last a really long time if you don't open it. That's November 12th, and it is like September 6th right now, 5th. So once you open it, I think it's like 14 days, but still, I really like that about it. it doesn't go bad on us quick. And then I got two things of the H-E-B flour tortillas. If you haven't tried H-E-B's flour tortillas, you're missing out. They are like better than some Mexican restaurants. So good. These are the only ones my kids will eat. They're like tortilla snobs now. Then for vegetables, we got quite a bit of stuff. I've been craving mushrooms lately. I really like sauteed mushrooms with steak. 
So I really wanted some. So we're gonna do that for me. Nobody else in my family likes mushrooms. I got some Brussels sprouts to do with the sheet pan meal. Nobody else in my house likes Brussels sprouts either. And then green onion is for the flautas, I think. And twice baked potatoes, that's good as well. I got two of the avocados. They seem pretty good. They're for a while. They were so expensive and they were just not very good. I got one sweet potato to do for the sheet pan meal. I'm just going to chop, peel it and chop that up. I got some carrots for the sheet pan meal, two russet potatoes for twice baked potatoes, and then we were just completely out of potatoes, so I got a couple white ones. Love these, these are my favorite. For twice baked potatoes though, you really need one that has a thicker skin, and I also learned do not put foil on twice baked potatoes because having foil on them just makes them so tender and soft that the skin, when you're trying to like cut it, to hollow it out and make the mixture to restuff it just completely falls apart. So don't Oops. put foil if you're doing twice baked potatoes. Have my little helper here. Hi baby. Hi. <laughs> we're about to go to the lake. That's why she is in it. We're going to go boat. Yep. Yep, we're gonna go on the boat. So I got some garlic. We were almost out. I got asparagus. My whole family likes asparagus. I got some bananas. Justin and Mackenzie eat bananas. I got some romaine lettuce because ours was bad for some salads everybody loves strawberries thanks baby everybody loves strawberries hunter included now he's on a strawberry kick lately i got so Mackenzie likes fruit loops and i really would prefer her not to eat fruit loops we've tried different ones no shaming if your kids eat fruit loops that's totally fine i mean mine does obviously i bought a giant thing of it but there's just healthier options out there and that's just not the healthiest but she does not like the other ones that I've gotten her to try but she does Apple Jacks is a little bit better for you so I've been mixing the two we had some small bags that my mom had bought to make like necklaces and stuff so I've been mixing the two so I'm gonna take out my canister and mix like half of each so we can hopefully transition into just Apple Jacks. I don't remember exactly why, but maybe it's some of the dyes or something. I don't know. But yeah, no judgment. This is what my kids are eating. <laughs> Elbow pasta is for mac and cheese. We were almost out of syrup. Actually, we ran out of syrup, so we needed syrup. I used to buy the cheaper syrup, but this is so much better. Like, to actually spend more money on it, it really does make a difference. It does taste better, and I know it's better for us. Hunter and Justin really like these. Ritz chips, crackers, they eat that with cheese. So I got two of those. Um, my kids have been loving the little puffs again. They went through a phase where they didn't like them as much, but they love these, so I grabbed some more. Their favorites are the peach and the blueberry, I think. I accidentally bought the wrong baggies last week. I bought gallon bags, but they were not freezers, so I got some more of those. We always get baby wipes. I like the soft and sensitive ones. I wanted to get little juice box, juice apple juices. My kids only like the H-E-B one, but they were not an option. They were out of it, I guess. So I got this one just to put in cups. I got some egg noodles because we were out of those. I got two things of the on the border chips. These are our favorite chips to have queso with and do nachos with. I have really been liking these a lot and I really do feel like they're actually working because I felt like I was getting sick a few days ago and I, I felt so much better the next day. I took this, I took my like inner defense and um, vitamin C. I did other stuff too. Shh, Mackenzie, stop. I did other stuff too, but I did drink a lot of these. I drank two one day and then the next day I drink one. So it's just a little shot. It's an immunity little shot. It has turmeric and probiotics in it. It, I really actually like the taste a lot. You keep it in the fridge. It has like a little kick to it. I think it has cayenne pepper in it. This one I've never had before. I am excited to try this one. Um, so I just got two this week because I have one in the fridge still. Um, so my goal is kind of to do one like every other day. If I feel bad, do it more often. They are like $2, I think, almost $3, which is kind of pricey, but to stay healthy, I think it's worth it. Then we got some toilet paper. We like the Our Finest H-E-B Strong 
So that's a 12 pack. And then, of course, I got my mini Dr. Peppers, our 20 pack of Sprite that we always get every week, and then salt for the water softener. That is lettuce. Lettuce. Cha cha cha. Did you get that from Gabby's dollhouse show? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I got all of these for me. You got them for the family? Okay. Say bye. Bye. That does it for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not a part of our YouTube family. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.